2015 season is underway and once everybody's had a chance to catch up, the first stop for the drivers is the track walk here at Silverstone. So I'm going to take a walk around and see who I can talk to to get a little bit more insight into this famous circuit. So Anthony, as you're coming up to these uh, corners, what, what are you looking at? It's the first tight corner you come to, really good for outbreaking uh, the, the slower cars that you come up to lap especially, um, safe place to overtake. If you can't get it done there though, and you've got the momentum, you can always carry it on into turn four here as we stand. But this one's a bit more tricky, especially in our car as we sit on the left-hand side. It's really hard to see the actual curb, and it's quite a big curb, uh, that sausage curb on the, on the left there. So Marcel, we've just come out of that long straight into Cops. What are you looking at when you're walking around the circuit? Yeah, especially here I looked at the outside, you know, the curbs, how the curbs, how tall they are, if they have something changed and also if there's uh, some AstroTurf outside or like here now, the painted green stuff, uh, try to look if it's slippery or not. And I think it's, uh, no, it's quite good grip, so we can use a little bit the curbs for sure. So Stefan, going on to Maggots and Beckets, how do you approach it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a great feeling exiting that corner and you know you have a great corner ahead of you. Um, it's very, very fast, especially the first bit, and um, uh, it's a great start just out of uh, Cops. you ex exiting the old track with some slower corners, entering now in a very high speed uh, area, and uh, yeah, you have to be focused. There's just a few of the elements that make up the Silverstone circuit. Now it's time for the drivers to put that theory into practice. <laughs> 